Well guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Here it is, the Pixelbook Go. The Pixelbook Go, I've had this for over four years, folks, and it still works like new. This thing is, is incredible, man. This is my, this had become my bedside laptop after about the second year of ownership. Literally, I pull this out next to the bed and it just goes and goes and goes. I really love this laptop. Way ahead of its time, I would say. This 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 laptop is you can't believe this is over four years old. I mean, the hardware is still great. The camera still works just phenomenally. Speakers are great. And for what it was at the time, this was a, a premium Chromebook. Um, this thing was a Core i5 inside, eight gigs of RAM. So it really pushed the limits. There was a Core M3 version and also a Core i7 version with a 4K screen. I really wanted to grab that one, but it kind of went out really quick and they didn't make any more. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are in 2024 and this thing is still kicking strong. I charge it up to a hundred. I don't charge these unless it's um, uh, gonna be uh, almost dead. And I just took it off the charger and it's at 98%. So I'll get, I used to get like two days or more out of this thing. Now I get about a day or just under a day. Uh, so battery degradation is okay. It, it depletes a lot faster. However, it still charges to 100%. Uh, so that's really good. I'm surprised. And I think it's because I don't always fast charge it. And I also don't charge it unless it needs to be charged. So I only plug this up if it's getting ready to die. So I try to run it all the way down as, as far as I need to uh, before I you know get my task done before, uh, you know, having to plug it in. And then I also don't use it while it's charging. That's just how I choose to charge my devices. A lot of people don't like to do that, but that's how I do it. So I remember at one point, Chromebooks were explosive, man. They were they were something that, you know, you just they were everywhere and they are still everywhere. Chromebooks are still very popular. But to have one of these, I think this is like the crown jewel of products that were released from Google. This laptop is actually really good. As you can see, it's a touchscreen. It has all the latest software. This thing still gets updates because it's web-based. So when you have something that's web-based, it looks new all the time. Like It's like having a Tesla. The, the software changes and it changes things on the vehicle. You just keep the same hardware. So as long as you picked up the right hardware initially, even the Core M3 versions were really strong, but the Core i5 and above, you know, it, it just was where it was at, man. Eight gigs with Core i5 on a Chromebook is, is, is actually really strong. So you can do uh, web-based editing, and I never got into editing with this thing, but I definitely, oh my God, the, the streaming hours I put on this thing over the last four and a half, almost four and a half years, and then also the edit, the uh, uh, data entry and emails and web-based things that I've done in limitless. I've done so much with this particular product. It's incredible. I actually didn't think it was going to last, and some people actually... Well, at least not four years. I didn't think I'd be making a four-year follow-up, uh, but the Pixel Slate is another one that I, I bought, and that was that was an eclectic device. I got the entire suite, and I let my youngest daughter use it. She's in her twenties now, but at the same time, it still works. But she said the keyboard stopped working, so mm, I'll have to get it back from and check it out. But it is still actually functioning, and it is older than this, so. Um, I think that'll be a good follow-up video for that one because I gave it to her after about two and a half years of use, uh, maybe two years of use, and she's had it ever since. And she said the the tablet, everything still works, just the keyboard when docked doesn't work. But this being a laptop, this keyboard is fully functional. Now I forget that this is a this is a Google Store here. It says no longer available up here, man. That that's a shame because this was such a good product, man. Thirteen point three inch display. Super thin, lightweight. It's got the dual cams here. It, it, it's just a beautiful piece of hardware that I think was way ahead of its time, man. I really do. And with it being running, with it running Chrome OS, Chrome OS, man, this thing is still getting updates. I kid you not. I just did an update before this video. That's because it's web based. So with it being web based, you get everything. It's just going to keep updating as long as it's working and it can hold a charge. You're going to get a update on it.
just again, it's just just the most fantastic thing. Again, that touchscreen display. It's got the dual front firing speakers. These speakers right here are really good, folks. Trust me when I tell you. Eighth gen Intel process, and that is the Core i5, and I have eight gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage, uh, and you can see all the dimensions here. So. It's, it's really good. It says you can get up to 12 hours of battery life, and I was actually getting more than that. Uh, something that's important here is a backlit keyboard. Now, that is something that newer laptops, so my, my, my latest um, Surface Book Go 2, it doesn't have a, a backlit keyboard, and I think that was pretty crazy. Great thing that this has the Titan C security chip, but it also has a 1080p camera that does 60 frames per second. And this being a touchscreen, the touchscreen still works great ambient lighting sensors, Type-C port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, I told you this charges fairly fast. I think I told you it charges fairly fast. I use a 65 watt, so I'm getting the peak 45 watts power through the Type-C, uh, and it's just really good. So I'm actually really um, happy to have gotten this, um, and I think it fits today's world. Like, it, it fits what's going on in today, and this laptop unfortunately isn't sold by Google anymore, but you probably can still find them new somewhere out there or you can find them secondhand somewhere out there. Amazon renewed is where I would probably look if I were you. Uh, but if you can't find them new anywhere uh, and if you find them new, someone's probably going to try to jack the price up for nostalgia pur nostalgic purposes. But all in all, folks, this is a great thing for, for 2024. Believe it or not, I cannot believe it's been over four years with this beautiful piece of hardware. So, you got the very simple Google logo, and it came in two colors, too. I thought that was pretty cool. And then on the side, you have the Type-C port. And then over here, you have, a, my bad, I said this side, but you have a Type-C port on both sides, and you have the headphone jack over there. Now, this drop, this laptop has been dropped and everything, and it's it's been through the paces. But after I dropped it a few times when it was new, I actually put it in a sleeve. So I carry it in a Bellroy, Bellroy sleeve. Uh, if I do decide to take it somewhere, that's perfect for this. This rounded body is just so nice, folks. It is just a very nice combination here. And, and here is the Pixel 8 Pro. And who would have thought, you know, over four years later, I would have a Pixel but Go next to a Pixel 8 Pro. This is just a beautiful combination in its own. Yeah. So, folks, if you're looking for a laptop, this was one that you should have gotten at launch. Uh, I can't tell you that, you know, you're going to be able to get one brand new now. But like I said, I really love this laptop still. I think it's a great laptop. I think it's more than enough laptop for most people today. And if you're able to get one, this Chromebook right here, with it being web based, you're going to get every update that Chrome OS gets. I'm telling you, it is the look of this has been transformed since it was originally purchased. It is so nice and it's currently up to date with the Chrome browser. Everything is, is looking like 2024, just in a body that technically could be 2024. When you think about it, this rounded body style here was what they moved to for their phones. <laughs> so who would have thought that, you know, this was going to be the case. You got this rubber texture on the bottom. It's got these little ridges down here. This is just a good look, folks. This is a great device and it fits right into 2024. I'm telling you, this is a win. I'm glad you have gotten it. It's your man, Joe. Hope you guys enjoyed over four years with the Pixelbook Go and it is still going. Nice job, Google.